because I, I, I'm sure I'm condemned if I. Uh, so whatever, then you get to the room and shit like that. She running it down, whatever, and, and, and you you filming it, whatever. Now the whole, I wonder. I've been looking at you all night. I've been waiting on this all night. She get on top of you, straddle you, and shit like that. Oh, hold on, I want you to get you another drink. And she was she was probably making a drink up in the club and shit like that. Ready, had it ready. Get to the room. But they fake, 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 fake. Because you cannot finesse the internal body. It's going to expose every time. So as you're eating these hot chips and all this bullshit, you're not sleeping right. You're not eating right. You, you know what I'm saying? You're malnutrition and all this other shit. You keep taking all these bullshit and that, this dope and shit like this. When a nigga get down to this pussy, you're not going to be able to finesse it. All the things that you've done to this pussy to try to make it... Um, feel better, try to make it uh, taste better, try to make it smell better on the outside because the in the internal body doesn't work like the external. You can't just slap some on and slap some on and slap some on and slap some on and it's all good. Then put some clothes over it and thirst trap niggas. No, you actually have to take care in order to make this do something. You know what I'm saying? As I told you, uh, for the bitch with nine kids, but still trying to take salt and vinegar baths or vinegar uh, uh, baths and, and uh, apple cider baths and shit like that. Bitch, the front door, it, it'll be just like a fucking house. The front door be locked like a motherfucker. But as soon as you get past that motherfucker, it's nothing but free space in this motherfucker. Nigga just stuck your dick out a fucking window. Like, don't feel like nothing. So you close the front front door, but ain't shit going on. Bitch, you can real deal keep combs, phones, your vape. You can put your fucking weed, all your goddamn shit right down this motherfucker and, and snap that bitch like a purse. Snap. I had to get off this ass. I had to get off my ass. I had to get to the cash. I had to stick to the plan. I had to quit taking Xanax. I had to quit popping Percocet. I had to get off the codeine. I had to quit the Promethazine. I had to do it myself. This is $10,000 cash. All $100 bills. And I want to invite you to a free training that shows you how I went from $10 an hour to $10,000 a month with my online business. Text CASH to 301-273-1238. I'll see you on the inside. Welcome back to the Big Facts Podcast. I'm Ayo Canseco, fearless leader of Ayo Nation. And this is... No, hold on. I almost forgot. Leader of the Men Too Movement. Shout out to everybody in AO Nation who went over last night to the Star Report and was repping, showing love, letting it be known that there is a Men Too Movement already started. And I, yes, I do have the paperwork already started. The trademark paperwork is on the way. Um, and I will show it on the show as soon as it come in. But shout out to y'all. Shout out to Star. Um, after the after the show went off, whatever like that, he hollered at me and shit like that. Said, um, uh, as soon as time permits, whatever like that, uh, for him and me, whatever, we'll uh, do another interview so I can explain exactly what the Men Too movement is, what it stands for, and what, you know what I'm saying, our goals are. Um, as everyone in the Men Too movement knows already, um, in August, we're doing something big. Y'all know I can't speak about it no more. We're doing something real big in August and shit like that. Um, and I, I, I just appreciate it. I appreciate that shit. Shout out to, um, what is it? A daytime, Candace from Daytime Tea Time reaching out to me, um, confirming that I am the leader of um, the Men Too Movement. Shout out to Willie D. I heard he showed love. Uh, shout out to all viral media um, for sending Candace um, to me and shit like that. Um, that's all it is. Like, you know, I'm not really, I understand, you know, I'm... But I'm not going to allow what happened to the Me Too movement to happen to the Men Too movement. I made the Men Too movement to battle the Me Too bullies. It, it, it was too much power in one place. There's no way. So the Men Too movement has been going for damn near two years. Um, when I heard what they considered sexual abuse and rape, like, oh, well, shit, I, I, the fuck? That shit's happened to me multiple fucking... I can, if that's the case, I can have motherfucking half a damn Alabama locked up. You know what I'm saying? Like, if that's what the fuck sexual fucking assault is, 
Come on, my nigga, hoes will grab your dick in the club like it ain't shit. But I've spoken about that already. Um, I, so shout out to all y'all, man, uh, for showing love. And um, y'all already know what's going on. Also, April 6th, I will be in Mobile, Alabama at Spring Fest. Um, I got a booth out there, and it will be the Men 2 booth. We'll be um, passing out um, propaganda. You know what I'm saying? Letting it be known what the Men 2 movement is, how you can sign a petition. Um... Um, how you can do a lot more for the men to um, operation and movement. Right now, if you want to do anything that you want to do for the men to movement, you need to get your men to t-shirts and shit like that. But I'll have a commercial about that later on. But uh, donating to the PayPal and Cash App right now is the best way to help uh, the movement. Um, with all these things that I have going on, uh, with me starting to do these shows and starting to do these interviews and shit like that, um, we're going to do a lot more moving. So donating right now is the best thing to do. Um, I appreciate everyone in AO Nation for continuously supporting the movement. And of course, the fucking TV comes on. Hold on. I think I learned how to. What do we want? Equality. When do we want it? Now. What do we want? Help. When do we want it? Now. What do we want? Equality. When do we want it? Now. What do we want? Help. When do we want it? Now. I'm not a picket sign type nigga, but come August, it's going down, dog. Um, if you want to be part of the Men Too movement and the Men Too movement group that goes to D.C. in August, you have to be part of the Men Too movement, meaning that you sign the Men Too petition on change.org, that you have your Men Too shirt, and you've been personally vetted by me. Nobody will know the time that we're going to meet up and all that shit like that. I'm going to say all that shit behind the scenes, so you have to come through me. If you're trying to get in touch with me. There's been a lot of bullshit going around there. A lot of AO Conseco accounts on Facebook. Um, so this is the AO Conseco account that you're supposed to go to. This is the thumbnail. This is the Tobin Frost account. And this is the Instagram account. So there's no more, you know what I'm saying? Uh, fuck up, no more mix up. Um, to get your men two shirts, you go to paypal.me forward slash are you serious 10. Uh, the men two shirts are $20. Every other shirt is 15. All headwear is 10. This shirt is not available yet. It won't be available till the end of March. And only AO Nation members will be able to purchase it, meaning that you've already purchased, you know what I'm saying, your whatever shirt, you know what I'm saying? So you gotta, we look at your PayPal. If you ain't bought nothing yet, you can't get the shirt. I don't want everybody to have my face on them. Um, of course, you know, for all the new folks, the PayPal that you buy your merchandise from is not the PayPal that you donate to. That PayPal is on the screen at least three times an episode. It's paypal.me forward slash Aaron337. This is the PayPal that you donate to if you want your, um, PayPal note read during uh, the AO Nation donation conversation that we have every third Sunday. Um, you can also donate to the Cash App and the Venmo. All that shit's in the description box. Listen, for all of you new business people and shit like that, do not send nothing to my inbox. Like, you a rapper, you a clothing line, don't tag me. Dog, don't say my name unless you're ready to do business. I'm extremely fucking busy. If you got a story over here and all that shit like that, but don't bring me to your brand if you're not ready to do business. I'm too busy, dog. Period, point blank. No disrespect, but this is how this shit go on this end. Prices start at $200. They go up to $2,000. All good. Also, listen, this is not my only channel. The Big Face Podcast is the first channel. The Rap Trap is the second channel, and Stupid Rappers is the third channel. All those channels got different fucking content. The videos that go on one channel don't go on the other one, usually. All of them had their own fucking content. So if you're not subscribed, please learn how to work YouTube and subscribe and hit the notification bell on all channels. Get your shit together, big homie. What do we want? Help!
But yeah, so make sure y'all donate, show love right now. We we gotta move forward. Um I'm not gonna let these motherfuckers hijack the movement. I don't know, like I said, I don't know what the future holds. I'm excited about this shit. Um with everybody now asking questions, getting different emails about this me and two shit. Usually it's about the big face podcast and motherfuckers, you know what I'm saying, doing that type of shit, but now with this me and two shit becoming like this Cardi B shit, first off, the Men Too movement went and started to fucking put Cardi B in jail. The Men Too movement was here to fight false rape allegation allegations and help the false rape allegation victims. Um, hoes being able to send niggas to jail just by saying so, that didn't sit well with me. I understand that. Once this shit starts rolling like this and motherfuckers start finding out who the fuck I am, they going into my past and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? And I'm 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 ready for it. I'm ready for it. You know, shout out to Terrence um um letting me know um exactly how this whole thing finna happen. Um I don't have no sexual crimes, you know what I'm saying, domestic violence in my record and shit like that. This average street nigga shit. You know what I'm saying? The thing is, I don't have to be a victim of this shit to fight for an injustice. This shit is wrong. A bitch should not be able to say, I want him in jail and a nigga go to jail. It shouldn't happen like that. It should be a buffer in between. Like, okay, women do get raped, but women also lie about it. We have had so many successful black men or uh, potentially successful black men headed into the fucking National Football League and everything being pulled this away from him because a bitch say he raped me. How many times do we have to see that fucking story to know that it, like, that's... But I, I it's, it's hard. It's so hard because when, when you push hard on this shit, it makes you look like you're empathetic to rape victims. And I put that blame on the whole... What y'all should do is direct all of your anger to the bitches who lied. Not on the motherfuckers who are now in disbelief. You can't get at the people... You can't get mad... You can't get mad at the people in uh, The Boy Who Cried Wolf. You don't get mad at the, the people who didn't believe him when he was actually telling the truth. You get mad at the fucking boy for lying. So that's what the fuck this is. And on the back end of it, yes, men get sexually assaulted all the fucking time. But just like with this Kevin Smith shit, as we finna talk about, this is the same shit that happened. Um, this is Are You Serious? Look, Kevin Smith, we have a victim. A victim has come forward. Kevin Smith said he went to a strip club in motherfucking New York, whatever like that, celebrating, and Cardi B, you know what I'm saying, did it to him. Now, he also said that he's not going to press charges. He's not going to press charges. He's just trying to move forward with his life. And it's like this, man. As long as we continue with this type of shit, nothing's going to change. Kevin, do you think that you letting a fucking rapist and a ro uh, 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 um, a robbing rapist go free? You think that a judge is going to take that in consideration? When one of these hoes come out and say, uh, he fucking sexually assaulted me? Like when you in court or your brother or your father is in court for a bitch saying that she raped him or he raped her. You think they're going to give a fuck that you let one go? They're going to think that's why the fuck you did it. You're empathetic to fucking rapists. Sympathetic to fucking rapists. Dog. We have to. And it, this shit is so fucking frustrating. Like we have to take the power in our hand when we have it. And on top of that shit. Dog. It's cases where 
Even if the victim does not want to press charges, the state picks it up. Why the fuck we can't have one of them situations? All right, so let, let's let's paint this shit. You got, all right, your boy Kevin, he in the club and shit like that. Oh, man, just, just a green-ass nigga. He just in that hole. He don't know what to do. Just picking up any drink he can get. Just, uh, hey, uh, um, mm, yeah. So you drunk. Cardi B, she watched you the whole time. She seen you when you walked in the club. Because they, like, that's they trap. That's they trap. Like, prostitutes trap out of strip clubs. And they pose disguise themselves as strippers strippers are prostitutes we all know this so i she 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 a tiger she looking at you and that bitch you drinking hey she know that you lame she know that you lame because she's seeing how close you stand to your nigga like you in here with your homeboys and shit like that but she's seeing how close you're around naked women and you continuously are standing around these niggas. Like, you're not really... You're hive-minded. You're hive... When really, if this was really... If you was really like that for real, you would be fucking with hoes on your own. You would be over here, hey, you know what I'm saying? You Because you know how to move. But because you don't know how to move, you got to stick close to what you know. So she peeping, and it ain't, like I said, this is, you know, just like when you at the trap, like you can, it don't matter what race a motherfucker is, you can tell whether or not they belong there. You can have a white boy right next to you, but he a loyal motherfucking customer. But the nigga who dressed like, you know what I'm saying, Gucci Mane, or uh, something up with that nigga. Because you just know what belongs there and what don't. So she she watching whatever like that. You know, you got to look, be in your hand, even a beer you drinking and shit like that. She got to peep that because she trying to see like, all right. She trying to figure out how in the fuck do I get this nigga as inebriated as I need him to run this fucking place. See, because a lot of folks think that, you know, a robbery and, and taking shit from people is just like, I'm just taking, I took this shit. No, it's a science to it. After you've done it so many times, you run that science and the calculations faster than the first time you did it, whatever like that. But it's a science. All right, you're too close to that side. Like, you know what to do and what not to do. So every situation is different. So she's lining. That's what lining the motherfucker up is. Line it up to go do it. Bam, all right. Drinking a beer, whatever like that. She watching the way he moved when he first got in there. Now he, now he moving a little bit. I know that you're not supposed to be away from your friends and shit like that, but as you've gotten more and more of that liquid courage in you, you've swam deeper and deeper out to sea, meaning that now, instead of just sticking all up under your niggas, you, uh, you, you got a little room. Now, you, you, uh, you when you go into the bathroom and shit like that, you're taking longer periods of time and shit. You know, looking around, you getting more confident. You looking at bitches for now. You starting to look at ass a little bit longer, like you want to. You didn't loosen up in this bitch. So now she just waiting about three more times, and I'm on them. And she know just how to do it. Hey baby, and when she come up on you, she wrap the arm around the back of your neck, whatever like that. You know what I'm saying? And actually, you know what I'm saying? She might grab you. She making feel. She she's touching you. She's making physical contact. Grab your ass. Or just go ahead and grab your dick, whatever like that. Uh, uh, you ready to go? You know what I'm saying? Just anything. What you drinking, daddy? Just, no, whatever. Just, you know what I'm saying? Make this nigga just, he never heard these things before. Like, and, and I'm, I'm pushing up on him so, so, so mannishly that I'm making him feel like he's that nigga. And he's not, he's not conscious enough. He's not awake enough. And aware of his self, that's what you have to be self aware, um, to know that when someone treats you like this, it should be a fucking. This siren should go off. Oh shit, what the fuck? No, I know I'm not that nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, fuck, is she treating me like this for? I'm just an average nigga in this bitch. Obviously, I'm a lick. But you might just be thinking, ah, oh, yeah, I'm dressed up tonight, got my polo on. That's why you have to be. You have to know yourself. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I've told bitches the same shit. If you're a seven, 
You know what I'm saying? Like, know that you a seven, whatever, like that. So if a nigga is telling you you a dime or, or all this shit, whatever, you know that he's there for another reason. You know what I'm saying? Like, you a big girl, so you like, come on, man, don't let a nigga just run up under you and shit like that, telling you sweet things and just filling your head up with bullshit. He's there for another reason. He's not being honest. And, and we ain't all right, you a, a dime in my eyes. No, nah, man. Motherfucker don't even know you. They don't even know you. How the fuck is you a, the fuck? All they know is your exterior. But that's that's something else. Yeah, well, daddy, uh, you, you ready? I want to go with you. Ooh, how long you in here? Where you from? And shit like that. All this good shit, whatever. But as she's talking to you, she's touching you and shit like that. And what, what she's doing there... Is seeing how sensitive you are to a motherfucker feeling for different shit. So she's really trying to, she can take your shit right now. She, oh, does he got a wallet on him? Oh, what, uh, what was he gonna let me test the wallet? She's trying to see how soft and easy you are. Oh, uh, but she making it seem like, oh yeah, you you fine, like grabbing your stomach and shit like that. Maybe trying to grab, oh yeah, uh, all this other shit like this. But you, she just really, you know what I'm saying? Trying to see, I right, she testing you right now. Right now, she test. Nobody needs to make contact with you, my nigga. Nobody needs to be touching you. You know what I'm saying? But you don't know that. Everybody in the strip club, all the other prostitutes in that bitch, is seeing her. She finna lick him. And you know, a fight will start. A fight will start if that stripper comes over here after Cardi B that made the initial contact, letting it be known. He's mine. This is my lick. If another stripper come over there and, and try to start flirting with me and shit like that, man, a, a fight, that's why fights start. You took my trick. And you know this how I eat. We all in the same trap. That's why when she was speaking about um this, the, the video, when she was speaking, she said, these motherfuckers thought I'd be stuck in the strip club. The strip club is a trap. Like, niggas thought I'd be stuck in the trap selling dope. Motherfuckers don't like to be stuck in a trap selling dope. Motherfuckers don't like to be stuck in a motherfucking strip club selling pussy. Nobody wants to be, just wants to live and have to look over their shoulder. Nobody wants to really be in the underworld. Motherfuckers want to have a business and shit like that and be a boss. But motherfuckers don't want to have to go pour concrete, go fix cars, go do hair all day. Motherfuckers want the money to come easy, so they want to take this trap underworld money and build something in the real world but it never it never translates your underworld money is not going to make it up here something's going to happen to where that shit you going when you come to this when you come from the underworld to the real world you're going to come up here with zero there's ways around i'm telling you that when you do it you're going to start at zero don't give me no ah oh, he did it he did it you're not going to do it if you're trying to take this underworld money to the real world, you're going to lose. When you get to the real world, you're going to have zero. So unless you stop right now, but you can't stop right now because you don't have enough fucking money to start shit. That's what I'm telling you. By the time you have enough money in the underworld to start something in the real world, you're not going to be able to leave the fucking underworld gonna be too many fucking moving parts so she filling the nigga up and shit like this uh all right so in, in the club is established that this is the leak he uh, all right that's her leak so she got her food for the night all right and it's that serious because in the underworld i'm, I'm when i say underworld you understand i mean the street but i'm, I'm saying underworld so you can have a better picture and illustration of what i'm talking about in the underworld, as fast as the money comes, it has to leave because it's that fast. The biggest, you know, the biggest difference for me when I came up from the underworld was how slow things moved up here. In the real world, things don't go like when you in the when you in the underworld, shit moves at least four times faster than it does in the real world. Everything on the go. Uh, you, you at the gas station. You know what I'm saying? The, the music playing. Uh, driving. Ah, you high. Like, you on dope. You on drugs and shit. Like, that's another reason why. You know what I'm saying? You high all the time, whatever like that. And you know what they say. 
time flies when you're having a good time. So everything is like four is, is fast, fast, fast. Go gas station. And if you got the money on you, you you can't save money in the underworld. You can't. It's just, it is not gonna happen. It's not gonna fucking happen. And when I say you can't save. If you can save, then bring the money up to the real world. And you can't be in both worlds at the same time. You can't be. You're either if you're in the underworld, it don't matter if you go to the real world. You're just visiting. You're still in the underworld. That's where you preside. But so everything's fast, fast, fast. But when I came into the real world, shit moves slow as fuck. Cause you're sober. It's it's just slow. It's like this slow. It's no music. It is slow as fuck. And that's one of the biggest culture shocks. And, and that's one of the biggest things that you have to get acclimated to is you, you can say boredom. You know what I'm saying? Like, because you're just so used to that. And it's not like that. You know what I'm saying? It's just wake up. And so you got to start filling your time with something. And that's why I'm so grateful that I, I've always had um, a dream, a goal. Before I have drive, I, I have to have a destination. You know what I'm saying? So I'm so blessed to have, to have always had a goal trying to get somewhere. You know what I'm saying? So, a, so, somewhere that I had to get to. I want to be this. I want to be this. I want to do, you know what I'm saying? I always had that. So now, since I have a goal, I have drive so I can get to that goal. So now I'm, I'm working towards that. So the boredom really didn't set in because it's like, I, I'm doing something. I'm trying to get somewhere and shit like that. Well, other people, they just living. No reason to live, just living. When they say, I'm, I'm just taking care of my kid. Motherfuckers, that ain't what motherfuckers want to do. Like, motherfuckers want to be something in life, but they just don't know what. And they, they, don't, have, they don't have the, 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 the faintest fucking clue on how to fucking get there. But that's something else. In the club, whatever, like that, fill the nigga up, whatever, seeing what's going on with the nigga, check them out. So now, here it is. Um, he then went over there to his homeboys. Oh, I see you over there, man. Yeah, you know, that little something, whatever, like that. Y'all just lame as fuck in that bitch. Yeah, yeah, you know, man, whatever. Oh, uh, I see you. Then, goddamn, uh, as the night go on, he feel. He feel like, you know what I'm saying? Like he didn't, he feel like he didn't did something. And that's always with these hoes, that's always going to be their sweetest lick. Like you immediately, as she done rubbed up on you and shit like that, and then left, because she plant like she, she, she didn't just stay up on you the whole night and just uh, latch on to you. She tapped you and went somewhere else, whatever, because she, she getting her shit together. She read it, you know what I'm saying? She making all the plans she need to make. She probably called some niggas right then, like, I got one. Where y'all at? But niggas might not have answered the phone and shit like that. You know what I'm saying, niggas? So she might have been trying to set them up like that. Or she might have been on some solo shit. Ain't no telling, but she backed off of him. So now he over there letting that shit getting in mind, whatever, like that, still drinking, all good. Homeboy, they gave some doubt. Oh, you got you a red bitch, whatever. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um... Time go by a little bit. She she checking in with him. Oh, what you drinking, daddy? And shit like that. Uh, then she might tell him, uh, I'm ready to go, daddy. You ready to go? He feel good. Like, no, I got my red bitch, man. I'm, I'm the nigga. I'm celebrating. Oh, man. It's, it's the best night in life. I'm on. You know, that's the best night when you go to the club. I don't... I ain't gonna get into that. <laughs> I was gonna say, like, you know, you pose the, like, when you go in the club, you pose to, we always, I, I, I thought it ain't no reason to go to the club if I'm not going to be on no hoes. So, nigga going to be on some hoes and shit like that. But some niggas don't talk to no hoes. So, if a hoe don't approach him, it ain't going to, it ain't going to go. You know what I'm saying? But when you that nigga, whatever like that, you can just, whatever. But, so, bam, so I got me a hoe. Oh, man, it's the best night of life. So, nah, she want to go to the room and shit. Oh, man. My question is. What happened? Alright. Here's the thing. What happens in the car? In the car. That's that's so it's so important. Because a lot of times for you up and coming prostitutes, strippers, and IG models, it's all the same thing. Um 
the car ride is what they don't talk about. Um, from the strip club to the room. It's so important because that's the first time you're in a private setting. And what, for you up and coming hoes and shit like that, what they don't tell you is even if, because they try to make it seem like, ah, um... I made him think we was going to fuck, but we never fucked and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? On the ride to the room, after you didn't ran it up on him like that, in that car, he's going to touch that pussy. He going to touch it. Like, in, in the car, he going to touch it. So, there's no way to keep your, oh, I ain't never been fucked. I never fucked for money. I might have robbed some niggas and shit like that. Made them think we were going to fuck, but I never fucked. There's no way to stay clean. You're not gonna you're not gonna tiptoe in this game. You're not gonna do it. In the car as he's driving. Now, of course, as a veteran prostitute and shit like that, you don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? Like the, your biggest worry is when he touched the push and shit like that and he smell, you know what I'm saying, how bad this shit, you know what I'm saying, he is. It, is he just going to stop the car and try to jump out this motherfucker as a veteran prostitute because as a veteran prostitute there you find out that the human body is something that you really can't finesse you can't finesse the human body um When I say the human body, that the internal human body, you can't finesse it. If you're drinking beer and you eating hot Fritos and hot chips and shit like you retarded bitch, hot chip, what the fuck? Eating all this bullshit you eating, the, your organs are going to show that. They're going to expose you. You know what I'm saying? So... As you're in the underwear, you're not going to be eating like this. You're not going to be eating like this. What they're showing you online, you see in the clear skin, and that's why this makeup shit is such a is so much witchcraft. Because if you can see her real face and her real hair, it would show you. It would expose her. It would expose her for what she really is. A fucking wicked witch. You would really see it. But they fake, 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 fake. Because you cannot finesse the internal body. It's going to expose every time. So as you're eating these hot chips and all this bullshit, you're not sleeping right. You're not eating right. You, you know what I'm saying? You're malnutrition and all this other shit. You keep taking all these bullshit and that, this dope and shit like this. When a nigga get down to this pussy, you're not going to be able to finesse it. All the things that you've done to this pussy to try to make it... Um, feel better, try to make it uh, taste better, try to make it smell better on the outside because the in, the internal body doesn't work like the external. You can't just slap some on and slap some on and slap some on and slap some on and it's all good. Then put some clothes over it and thirst trap niggas. No, you actually have to take care in order to make this do something. You know what I'm saying? As I told you, uh, for the bitch with nine kids, but still trying to take salt and vinegar baths or vinegar uh, baths and, and uh, apple cider baths and shit like that. Bitch, the front door, it, it'll be just like a fucking house. The front door be locked like a motherfucker. But as soon as you get past that motherfucker, it's nothing but free space in this motherfucker. Nigga just stuck your dick out a fucking window. Like, don't feel like nothing. So you close the front front door, but ain't shit going on. Bitch, you can real deal keep combs, phones, your vape. You can put your fucking weed, all your goddamn shit right down this motherfucker and, and snap that bitch like a purse. Snap. That wide open ass pussy, ho. Because you didn't take care of it. Because you sold it. You gave it to niggas. You gave it to niggas to be rough with. Because once a nigga buy this shit, it's his shit. So he can do whatever the fuck he want this motherfucker. Not to mention the shit that's inside of him. And since you're, since you're bound by the cash, bound by the dollar, 
A nigga can always pay you a little something extra to take the condom off and bust inside like now, nah, ho. You know what I'm saying? Throw you an extra. Bitch, you gonna jump on it because it's about money from the jump. There is no motherfucking integrity after you've taken that money for the only thing that you have. So miss me with that shit. Ride down the road and, and nigga goddamn, he gonna touch it and shit like that. So don't let these hoes fool you and say there's a way that you can finesse a man without him touching you and shit like that. Don't listen to these motherfuckers because these motherfuckers will put you in positions because there was a time that Cardi B was green. She had to be broken in. Hey, Cardi, talk about that hoe. Talk about that bitch. And another thing, um, as Cardi is speaking about how oh, nobody did nothing for me, it didn't start like that, though. It didn't start like that. People stopped doing shit for you when you came out into this part of the world. You were interested in this. The, the, it, it got you just like you got everybody else, but you didn't start like that. You had a chance. I hate when folks say, uh, I ain't never had shit. Yeah, you did. You just squandered it away. I'm See, I'm about accountability. I'm about, I did this, this, there's no, uh, uh, the white man, no, 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 no. You can put an obstacle in my way, I'm still going to get over it. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to whine about what they did, that's why I'm a failure. No, there is no excuse for failure. There is no excuse for failure. Only responses. But you didn't start like that. So you chose to come out here. I, 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 it bothers me. I had to go out here and strip. You had to go out here and strip. I'm from Alabama. I'm, I'm, I'm in Baldwin County, Alabama. I'm the one that put Baldwin County, Alabama on the map. Made this shit important. Salute to all my Baltimore County people. But I want my people from New York, up north, to let me know. Do they not have jobs in, in, in the Bronx? Where Cardi B was at, do they not have jobs? What kept her if, if there's felons, murderers at the shipyard, uh, cutting grass, all kind of shit? Um... YouTube, you can go to the College of YouTube, YouTube University, and learn how to do hair. Why is it that you nothing ass bitches say that you had to sell pussy? I had to support my child. You had to do this. First off, you didn't have to have a kid, which Cardi B showed you. She showed you that, didn't it? She had enough sense to do that, though, didn't it? And like I said, I don't believe this hoe is no stripper. I just do not. She was a fucking prostitute that was trapping out the strip club because she can't dance. She can't dance. Somebody make a compilation video of Cardi B dancing and shit like that. And you tell me if that's a stripper's fucking dance. Her and Nicki Minaj is neck and neck. But stop. Don't let. And Cardi, that's why you have to be, you have to be taken out because you, you people like her because she's real no no people like her because that's the easiest thing to be is a fucking failure i just took a shortcut on every turn every turn let me talk to you people like trap niggas trap niggas are real no 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 trapping is the easiest thing to do that's why everybody relates with it. Because everybody can do it. A nine-year-old can't... Can't do quantum physics. A nine-year-old average. Nine-year-old can't... Uh, uh, redo the software for a, a, a micro board or macro board. And shit like that. There are jobs and trades that take skill and then there are trades and jobs that take no skill at all you can put dope in a baby's hand you can put a gun in a child's hand and he'll be able to shoot it you put dope in a child's hand he'll be able to use it and people will still come and buy it all you need is someone who can stand there anybody can sell dope let's get that understood anybody can sell dope that's why people relate to it because it's easy to do 
Anybody can just say, all right, I was born with this. I'm going to sell it. It takes no skill. No skill at all. So we need to get out this, oh, Cardi B is real. No. She just, she just took the easy route everywhere. Drop out of school. Be stupid. <clears throat> um, the, only, the only thing she's short of is having a child. Hoes relate to that type of shit because it's the easiest thing to do. The easiest thing to do. And you'll see, just look at look at people. People don't relate with um um uh the, the my man who got lied on, the NFL player who went in to be a neurosurgeon. Um they don't relate with him. He's not, you know, number one. They don't relate with um people that admire Michelle Obama, they admire Beyonce and shit like that. They but they don't they don't strive like they they're not big fans of the uh the female the first female fucking uh police chief first female um you know what I'm saying uh neuroscientist first female doctor and shit like that they don't they're not really flooding her shit like this but if Cardi B says cool it's cool because we can be her with no work we can be her but to be her we would have to study be focused. Strive. We can be Cardi B just sitting back doing nothing. Fuck. Listen to her lyrics. Look at the people who like her. They're not successful people. They're, they're, they're like the majority of them are failures. Failures meaning that they, they can't accomplish their goals. They can't. Because they will never try. Because it's easy to be Cardi B. It's the same thing with these retarded ass rappers. As if we're not talking about a retarded ass rapper. But you listen to what they saying. Like, let's take Glock 9. Even though I, I, I fucked the young nigga, his bop and shit like that. Or Kodak Black, just any one of them. NBA Young Boy. Drop out of school, sell dope, and they they say it like like this is not hard to do. All you have to do is not give a fuck about your life, but you don't understand that until you leave. Until you get out the streets and you come up here and start facing your responsibilities, stop making people, stop making the police come and find you and actually go to court facing your shit. I know. That was, I'm going to tell you this, that was the hardest thing I had to do when I came up in the real world. Real world. Is know how to get the money right now. And I know I can get away with it. Know I can get away with it. But not doing it. <laughs> to where your mama got to pay for your shit. Your mama got to pay your phone bill. Because you starting it, and of course she understands shit like that. But that it does something to a man. Your mama, for real. The easiest thing to do would have been to, I right, she, I got. The hardest thing to do was to sit. And languish in that pain of I ain't nothing. Let me feel like this application. Let me feel like this application. And uh, blessing came when I then started working. Shot uh, young ice and shit like that. Um, he got me on with uh, some landscape and shit. Um, where I was only getting paid fifty dollars a day, but that was hard going out there heat. The heat of the day. No money, so you got to, you know what I'm saying? And all the money you get, you got I, I can't do nothing but give it straight to your mom or whatever like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, here, here. Just trying to help out. It's easy to run up and down these street, dog, because in the, like, in the underworld, people will just throw you dope, throw you shit, whatever like that. Ride with me right fast. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's right there for you. In the real world, 
Now, this is the place where you're, they're not going to give you shit. You have to work for it. That's why you see Cardi B crying. Nobody gave me nothing because she expected them to. Why would anybody give you anything? It's the real world. You work, you get paid for it. But that doesn't make sense to a person who's took the easy way out their whole life. That's something to cry about to someone who's been given everything. Taking everything. The concept of working baffles them. It's beyond them. And that's the mindset they want the masses to have. As soon as you're met with resistance, as soon as you're met, as soon as it, it gets, you know, a little bit rough, you gotta you gotta troubleshoot a little bit, go back to what you know. Even if it was wrong. But she secured the bag. She secured the bag with offset, and that's why I'm so angry about him allowing himself to become that bitch's out. She's straight. No matter what she does, she can stop doing music today, and she good forever. Fuck her music. They can take all her music. Of offset's money, he's going to be working like a slave for a fucking Mexican. But let me, let me, hold, hold on, because I'm sure I'm damn near by. Uh, so whatever, then you get to the room and shit like that. She running it down, whatever, and, and, and you, you feeling it, whatever. Now the whole, I wonder, I've been looking at you all night. I've been waiting on this all night. She get on top of you, straddle you and shit like that. Oh, hold on, I want you to get you another drink. And she was, she was probably making a drink up in the club and shit like that. Ready. Had it ready. Get to the room. You drinking. Ah, oh, yeah, it's all good. Got some music playing and shit like that. She know everything to do to get you all outside of your fucking mind. Because she does this. You're, this is your first time. That's why in tourist city, the police always are on the strip. Because they know that the locals know how to spot tourists. And they know the game to play with tourists and shit like that. That's their first time there. They not going to be on game. So you can run however you want to run it. And that's how the fuck she did it. Out like a light, win the nigga pockets. Out the door. Never to be seen again. Until right fuck. Actually, she will be seen again. He can go right back to that same strip club and see her. And he, she can smile at him. He not going to do shit because he's embarrassed about this whole situation. He think that's what I get for going in the street. The same way that a nigga feels that a white boy gonna take it if he get robbed. When a white boy come to the hood and he get robbed and shit like that, nigga ain't really expecting for the white boy to go to the law. He expecting them motherfucker to take it on the chin because, uh, that's what I went to the fucking hood one time, bro, and this fucking guy, man, he just fucking punched me in the fucking face. Punch me right in the fucking face. But that's what happened with that. Um, Kevin Smith, I need you to come, man. Holler at me, man, pause. Holler at me. I want to speak to you, man. If, if we can't just try to get something going. If we can't just, just let's, let's create some dialogue to see if, because this is bigger than you. This is bigger than Cardi B. This is about a young boy. That, that The next young boy who's about to get fucking charged with fucking rape, domestic violence by a lying ass bitch. Understand that if you sit and do nothing, the blood and the tears of these young boys' mama that get charged and sent to prison for shit that they did not do over a lying ass bitch. The shit's gonna be in your motherfucking hands. On your motherfucking hands. Big Fans Podcast. I'm El Conseco. Make sure I hit the PayPal. See y'all in a minute. Love.